Hey everyone, welcome to part five of our Latin street food series. Today, we're going to be making homemade churros with a spice hot chocolate. You don't wanna miss this. Come on, let's get started. You're about to have a little taste of what you're missing. But if you cannot stand the heat, get out the kitchen. Full of flavor, flavorful, save your tools. Te vamos a enseñar una receta del baúl. Slice, dice, chop, nice spice, hot or mild. We got it, you just named the style. One in a meal, culinary skills, prestigioso. Todo queda sabroso. Who doesn't love churros? I mean, they're crispy on the outside, chewy and airy on the inside, covered in cinnamon sugar. It is literally the perfect dessert street food. But where exactly did the churro originate from? Hmm. Some say it's a spinoff of a Chinese street food called yuteao, which was brought over by Portuguese sailors, while others claim it originated from Spanish shepherds. But no matter what the origin, I'm so glad that churros are in my life. Okay, let's get started. In a large pot, add one cup of water. Add two tablespoons granulated sugar and six tablespoons of butter. Bring to a boil. Then add one teaspoon of vanilla extract and one teaspoon salt. Add one cup of flour and mix ingredients until combined. Turn off the heat and allow mixture to cool. When cool, add two large eggs, one at a time. Incorporating well before adding the next. Mixture should look and feel like peanut butter. Take a pastry bag and fill it with a star tip. I'm using a Wilton 6B. Fill the pastry bag with the churro batter. From the end of the bag, twist until the batter starts to come through the tip. In a large pot, add about three cups of canola or vegetable oil. Heat to 350 degrees and begin piping six inch pieces of the churro batter into the hot oil. Use scissors to cut off the batter. Continue this step, but do not overcrowd the pan or the temperature of the oil will drop and you'll end up with greasy churros. Cook until a light golden brown then remove to a paper towel lined plate to soak up the excess oil. Prepare the cinnamon sugar by combining one cup of sugar and half a tablespoon of ground cinnamon. Roll the churros and cinnamon sugar until they're evenly coated. Now for the spice hot chocolate. In a medium saucepan, add three cups of whole milk. And I like to add one cup of cream to make the hot chocolate slightly thicker. We're making Mexican hot chocolate, so we have to use Abuelita chocolate. Add one tablet, okay, maybe two tablets, along with the cinnamon stick, and one dried ancho chili pepper. Bring to a simmer and cook for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, remove the chili and the cinnamon stick. Now I like to whip the hot chocolate to make it nice and homogenous. Man, I'm in churro heaven. There you have it, homemade churros, with a spice hot chocolate. Thanks for watching. If you really like this video, smash that like button and click to subscribe so you can stay up to date on all new content. And remember, food can look good, but if it doesn't taste good, then your cooking is in vain. So make it sabroso.